Hello everyone and welcome to the Lead Your Legacy Women's Innovative Training Program. I'm so happy to have you here. There's so much that we're going to talk about and do and what I want to promise you is that after you go through this course your mindset will be forever different. You will look at things differently, you will think through things differently, and you will act upon things differently. Leadership is important today and it can't be any what like it was before. We have to do it differently. The world has changed and we're going to talk about that. So what do you think? Let's dig in. The plan today and what you need to know. I want you to take time to focus. I want you to have time to reflect and revise as you go through this program. Now you can go as fast or as slow as you wish. You can learn at your own pace. You can relearn any time. You'll need to apply this in your day-to-day -to, -day to really benefit. It's going to get messy and you're only going to grow at the pace you push yourself. So this is really about you. I'm only half the equation. I want to know what you're going to do as you go through the program. Stop for a minute and think that through. Are you going to be committed? Are you going to follow through? Are you going to reach as high as you can? And are you ready to be comfortable with your uncomfortable? That's what it's about here. All right, let's dig in. The first thing I want to talk to you about is engagement. Unlocking potential. Isn't it funny how something that is exciting for one person really is completely turns off somebody else? I mean, each individual is engaged by a unique combination of approaches and topics and ideas. Engagement happens when people are motivated by what is around them. A lot of the times people want to be heard. Other times people want to be a part of the process and just take care of tasks. How do you know which is which? This program is going to help you learn to understand yourself and others. So sit back and here we go. People excel and they are at peak productivity when certain things happen. Call it a happy place. I am at my peak when things are moving fast, they're exciting, and we're moving from um, thing to thing. Not everybody is. Those of you sitting there listening tonight, today, tonight, whenever it is in your space, you might like a slower pace. This tone and tempo of my voice. Someone else might hear that and think, oh my gosh, if she doesn't start talking faster, I'm just going to lose it. Most of the time, people will jump right back into their own heads. So, when we talk about a happy place, a place that has an ideal environment, it can have a different effect and motivation and productivity in everyone. Each person's place is based on what they truly are on the inside of themselves. What I also need you to understand is that who you are on the inside and how you see yourself is totally different in somebody else's eyes. You've heard of different perspectives. We've all talked about how two, three people can be in the same situation together and have absolutely different ideas of what happened. That happens every day. You have a certain way that you perceive yourself. Here's why. You're with yourself 100% of the time. You know every part of yourself. You know when you're good. You know when you're bad. You know when you achieve. You know when you don't. Other people only see pieces and parts, the parts that you choose to show them. Now, when that happens, that gives them an absolutely different perspective. When you're in moderate stress, they don't see you like you see yourself. They see you as you portray yourself in moderate stress. And when you are in extreme stress, it's even worse. Let me give you an example. I love throwing myself under the bus. I might see myself as confident and persevering. Other people see me as pushy and arrogant or aggressive. How's that happen? Well, it's perception, just like I said. If you're around me when I'm working or under stress or I'm behind the eight ball, I'm moving really fast. If you have a style that's a little slower based, that will allow you to perceive me as arrogant, pushy, and aggressive. And yet, I don't see it that way. So who's right? Both of us. That's the part I want you to learn in leadership. Everybody's perspective matters, and they're all different. One of the greatest benefits of this course for you is that you're going to learn to get out of your own way. 
Look, we all build obstacles around ourselves, and most of the time, we didn't don't even know it's happening. So it's important for you to be able to persevere outside of your obstacles. So let's learn what they are and learn what you have on board to help you get around that. We've talked about a lot in this first module. We've talked about perceptions and benefits and identifying yourself. I'm really excited to have you here, and I hope that you are in the right mindset to go into the next module. Are you ready? Get set. I'll see you on the inside.